Hello, my gorgeous. Welcome to Convos for a Bubbly Life. I'm your host, Tiara, aka T, and I love to live a life that is bubbly, meaning an extraordinary life by your design. On this podcast, we explore the journey of creating the life of your desires. So let's get to it. Today, I am letting you, the glorious listener that you are, know that we are going to be making some shifts and changes. As I've been exploring myself in my business, I've realized that a bubbly life does no longer encapsulate what I am looking to share with others, the messaging that I am creating. And it is, while it holds space for the extraordinary, there is just so much more that I want to bring into uh, what I offer and what I create. So with that, you're going to be seeing some shifts and some changes. And I wanted to let you know uh, first. <laughs> so thank you for listening. Thank you for that. So um, where it kind of started from is just this space of, you know, working with mentors, working with and sitting more with myself and what I'm looking, meditating on it and and knowing kind of <clears throat> visualizing what it is that I am trying to uh, take try visualizing what I am creating and visualizing what I want my business to feel like, which br- brings me to you're going to start hearing more of references to Mama T. Mama T um, is the like an identity that has come with me throughout my life. It is. Um, I don't know, like, <laughs> I, it, it's nothing that I asked for, which I think is really phenomenal that, like, in different stages of my life, there have been moments where other people just say something to me, and that is where my, been my guiding post, really, for where I am in that stage of business, where I am in that stage of whatever, like, uh, if you were have been with me since like my wine, my big wine days, like, you know, I still have the wine business if anybody is interested in wine. But um, when I was very heavily marketing it and very heavily into talking about wine and drinking wine on, on like a daily basis and sharing all of that, it really, someone just said to me like, girl, the way you shine, you're like a wine diva. And that's where wine diva had come from. Wine diva Tierra was like a big part of my life for a while. Um, But that, going back to Mama T, you know, Mama T, like I said, has been with me practically like my entire life, definitely my entire adult life. And um, I'm ready to actually like embody that identity, embody what that means, because that's what I'm looking for within my communities, within uh, my business. I'm really looking for it to feel like home, right? I'm really looking for it to feel like when my clients, when my listeners, my audience come to me, it feels like coming home to a trusted uh, figure who, maternal figure, getting a warm hug. I want that to want my business to feel like that for you. I want my business to feel like you are safe and secure. You can be your authentic self. And while I know that not everybody has the luxury of having that beautiful kind of nurturing relationship with their parents, uh, within their own like personal, actual physical family, know that they can have that with me in my space, right? In our space. So that's kind of where this shift is is coming from. So um, a little bit more on the Mama T thing. I think it's just, it's so funny. Like I said, you know, Wine Diva Tierra showed up and I like grabbed it and ran with it, right? But Mama T for me, I believe it came up uh, like high school. I want to say like my sophomore year of high school is probably the first time it really showed up <clears throat> in a big way in my life where um a friend of mine started calling me mama t like i don't know like i guess he just felt like there was like some sort of nurturing like energy from me and i don't think i i, I to me i feel like i didn't do anything special so to speak i just i just was me like you know i showed up i i might have like 
made food a time or two for the group. I don't, I don't think I did anything super out of this world, but like it was, I had a presence that not even demanded respect. It just, I guess I would say like asked for it. It was open for respect. And I showed up and I wasn't a part of, um, it was like the JROTC community at our, at my high school. I wasn't a part of it, but I had so many friends in it. And so like in the mornings I would actually go, um, at my high school, they didn't have, we had so many people. Like my graduating class was like over 500 people. And, um, they didn't have enough rooms or like space within the actual physical building to house everybody. So there were a couple of trailers. So the ROTC, um, classes were in two trailers outside in the front like in the bus loop uh and I remember I would like come to school and then I would go out there and I would just like sit (laughs) in in the um in the trailer and just like hang out with like my friends like that's what we did we just like hang out with ROTC and then after school um if I didn't have like a actual um what do you call it? Like if I didn't have some sort of meeting, cause girl was in everything, you know, pep, <laughs> pep club, show choir, whatever. If I didn't have a rehearsal, didn't have my own meeting, uh, then I would go and hang out for a little bit with the ROTC, watch them do like drills and whatever. And, uh, I just created a lot of great deep friendships over there. And so one friend started calling me mama T and next thing you know, like the whole battalion, I feel like was calling me mama T and they would come to me for advice and guidance. They just would come for a hug, you know, just like youthful maternal in- energy, I feel like. And, and I loved that and it was great. And, you know, people, <laughs> I don't know, I just had a, like a natural sense of, authority within myself. So I love that. And then moving forward, I had, you know, in college, you know, I was a big part of like my rugby team and I was president and, you know, whenever like newer rookies would show up, I didn't really get the full mama T effect, but I think part of that was because there were, um, players that I referred to as mom. So, um, I think I didn't really fully, step into the mama T role, but like people still came to me like, Oh mom, thanks mom. Especially by my like junior, senior year when some of those people had graduated and left and I filled that space again myself. And then fast forward to now where I feel like I'm in a space in my life where just so much synchronicity is showing up and and the opportunity is showing up again where people were like, Mama T, nobody fucks with Mama T. <laughs> Mama T knows where it's at. Like these, these are some things that I've heard in like recent days. And I'm like, holy shit, how did this name show up again from like so long ago and come back what is where is that from that is hilarious and I feel like this is like you know the universe God source whatever like energy when you put energy out right I had set an intention to really explore growing my business explore like leaning into making millions leaning into uh deep love leaning into these big big spaces right and mama t shows up hearing it again and it like really hit my brain like oh snap like i haven't heard that in in a while that is really funny whatever and i talked to it talked about it with my mentor and she was like girl there's something in there that right and um you know we're like your business isn't isn't housing what it is like it's trying so hard to still be like that old thing because a bubbly life came from the mixture of wine and living an extraordinary life but it didn't quite settle in right it didn't quite hit everybody right and so I'm looking and I am opening up to what is going to really help the masses really help on a larger scale and everyone has a mother, right? Regardless of what their relationship is like, there is a need for that nurturing and that maternal energy. 
you know, a desire. Some people didn't have it and so they're really looking for it. Some people had it and they and they love it. Some people might have even lost it and that's very tragic, right? And I know that I have that within me and I want to cultivate more of that feeling, more of that guidance, more of that nurture. Nurture is like the big word, right? And so I'm really excited for this pathway and this journey to share and share how it is coming about for me and also for the membership. So it's not going to be the A Bubbly Life membership as I had originally thought of. And I think it's super amazing how uh, when I was rolling it out, I gave myself like 90 plus days to really like get the word out and shift things. And it's amazing how it's shown up that it's not going to be that. And I had, I created space for myself to make changes. In the past, when I worked with mentors, coaches, whatever, if someone, if I created something and someone made a suggestion of like changing my branding or changing something up, um, I held so hard to it because I'm like, man, but I've already been talking about it. I've already been whatever. And like, I need to go now. Like, I need it to sell now. I need it. I need this money now. Like, I can't leave what I've created. And not anymore, right? Like, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, it's fine. You know, I can make shifts and changes now. Like, I, I have time. I have space. Uh, it, it, it is what it is. It, I am ready <clears throat> to make this growth. I am ready to listen. I am ready to to take action in a new direction. I'm, I'm totally down. Like, I am at that crossroad, and I'm like, okay, a bubbly life is not going where I want it to go. All right, Mama T, let's go. So the podcast name will be shifting. The name and some of the energy of the membership will be shifting. I really want to put out there, like, uh, an opportunity for the members of the community to have a voice. So, um, cause I, I fully believe, you know, I, I've noticed it at work and other places and spaces where people might have questions and like, I've done a lot of group coaching, whether it's me leading it or me, me being a part of it. Um, and, and in those situations, a lot of times people will have a question, but are too, um, nervous to say anything. And then when they actually do <laughs> speak up, it's like, oh, well, actually, um, five other people had that question. And, you know, it takes space to be vulnerable, but oftentimes a lot of other people have that same vulnerability within them. So with that being said, I'm looking, I really want for members of the community to be able to ask their questions out loud. Um, I'm holding space for them to do it anonymously if they want. But one of the things in tying this podcast in deeper with the membership is allowing you like, hey, like as a member, I would like to either go deep into my own personal life and like speak up. And if you want to share your name, cool. If you don't, uh, you want to just like be just a voice uh, and not just a voice, but I, I see it as like recording a live interview <clears throat> session, if you will, and utilizing that audio for the podcast, no face, but like your voice, that kind of thing. And that would be open to members of the community, which would allow space for one having one-on-one -on -one sessions without like having to have a separate charge for it, a separate setup for it or whatever, but like also allowing um, other people to hear. So maybe you're not able to be a member yet, but you're wondering how the journey kind of shifts and how it could work to have a one-on-one -on -one session with someone. Uh, you could hear it out loud from somebody else who's open to being vulnerable and recorded. That's a part of the membership that's already on their journey. And I want to share that. Uh, I also want to share, like, maybe someone has, like, just a concept. Maybe they don't want to talk uh, and, and, like, really talk through what they're going through. But um, they might have just, like, a quick 
question conceptual what is this or I'm experiencing this what are your thoughts on it right and just want to just sit in here and I can take that question from our members and bring it to, again to the podcast and share uh, in a little lar- on a larger frame in a larger form because again so many people might have the same question so that's how we can support a grander scale community within our smaller little bubble community. (laughs) Um, I love it. So that's something I also am looking to, and I've said it forever, but like retreats, um, virtual events, I do want to have like a monthly gathering of minds uh, for those who are members and we can just sit together, get to know each other, talk about whatever it is, grab a glass of whatever you want to drink and like chat for an hour and we talk. And every so often we might open it to the general public or at least friends of current members to get a taste of mama tea, if you will. And then keep going back to being private for a little bit longer and reintroducing that. So something super fun, super, super home-like, right? It's like coming home. So home is going to be a word that you're going to start hearing more of. Uh, Mama T is going to be referencing to me. And I'm really excited for this shift and this change. And if you're a part of the community already, definitely like let me know, share what you're, what you're feeling. If you're not a part of the community, but you have like, you know, my personal contact information, then like reach out and share what your thoughts are. And if you're excited about it or you're, you know, how you're, how you're taking in this information. If you have any ideas, of course, share that with me. Um, I also want to say that I'm feeling like, not sure exactly how it's going to show up, but hosting a in-person retreat. And I want to say like part of your membership would go towards financing that retreat for your mem- the members. So that's something else that I'm like grappling with and, and expanding upon. So these are things to look forward to, get excited about and share in the journey of. And with that, I'm going to say ta-ta for now. And I will catch you in the next one. I love you so much. Remember, sharing is caring. Invite your friends. As of right now, the website is still www.abubbly.life slash luxury living. So you can check out everything over there. And I will see you anon.